Should the BBC be calling out the Hamas as terrorist? <clears throat> well, I think the BBC represents British interests. And I don't think it's in British interests to call out Hamas as, uh, what would you call them out as, freedom fighters, the Arab army? I mean, what would what would you say they should say? But the BBC have uh, often trumpeted that, uh, you know, they have no agenda. But I think during the Iraq war that went by the by, because number 10 and the BBC have often locked horns since the BBC's inception. So there we are. So inception for reception. So when the BBC started by our old chum, Lord Reith from Glasgow, Sir John, Sir John Reith knighted at 37, not bad. Um, when uh, John Reith was given the brief to start the BBC because broadcasting had proved its power through the airwaves, fantastic. Um, during the First World War, they had to, the British had to get in and harness that as quickly as possible, hence the BBC and it's a corporation because Sir John incorporated it. So there we are, big business, but it was supposed to be a, a not-for-profit.